There's a lot of talk now about Lyme disease. It is more common than we thought, and how the bacterial infection is transmitted is a subject of debate because Lyme disease often strikes people in the same family. Some argue that Lyme disease can be transmitted sexually and can even be transmitted to babies during a mother's pregnancy. Fox Eyes' John Henrahan has more. According to the Centers for Disease Control, bacteria carried in some species of small ticks is now spreading Lyme disease to an estimated 300,000 new patients a year in the U.S. For some of those patients, the effects of Lyme disease are devastating. And my body just gets so tired and ill and you just feel sick and you can't explain it. Some days I just want to lay up in bed and do nothing because I feel so sick. And I'm 18 and I should not feel like that. Caitlin Carlson believes her case of Lyme disease was passed on to her at birth from her mother, who also has been diagnosed with Lyme disease. So has the father. No, they don't say that it's passed on sexually. It should be in the textbooks, and doctors should know that this is a sexually transmitted disease. But they don't even tell you that. And so people are passing it on to people that they love, and they don't even know it. Others believe Lyme is transmitted sexually as well as mother to child. My husband also is experiencing joint pain, um, fatigue, and he's having problems. I had him tested. I said, go to the doctor, get tested. His test came back negative. I'm convinced he has Lyme disease. He has classic symptoms. The CDC firmly believes there is no evidence that Lyme is transmitted from person to person, although the agency concedes stillbirths may happen if Lyme is acquired during pregnancy. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Gary Wormser, contacted by phone, agrees with the CDC. I think the public needs to be reassured that there's no evidence for sexual transmission of Lyme disease. It's a tick-transmitted infection. Leesburg physician Dave Stewart used to buy the prevailing scientific views about Lyme disease, but Stewart cites a recent study of bodily fluids showing the presence of the Lyme bacteria. Stewart believes Lyme can be transmitted sexually. It's no longer a question of whether it happens. It's the problem is now getting getting it accepted by the greater medical community who tend to be slow to adapt to change. Dr. Stewart recommends safe sex only for many of the adult Lyme patients he treats, at least until the Lyme symptoms disappear. For chronic patients, he recommends safe sex safe, safe sex methods forever. There are a couple of issues that both sides of the debate over Lyme disease agree on. A vaccine is needed and more research should be done on Lyme disease. Laura? Very, very interesting. John Henrahan, lots more discussion we need to have about this issue. Thanks very much.